All right, guys, welcome back to another brand new year. This time we got GameStop exclusive NECA Ninja Turtles coming to you right now in this review. Hey, guys, I'm Buck5090. Once again, another review. This is Michelangelo, as you can tell from the packaging. If you can't tell, then look at it. Michelangelo, right there. Only at GameStop, of course. You can look at that beautiful packaging. You got Mikey right there looking all surprised. Like, you bought me. Wow, I can't believe you bought me. And you got the nunchucks, the pizza. And over here on the side, you got a nice little shot of the quarter scale Mikey. But whatever, I don't care. It's still a really nice image. And over here, the NECA logo over here on the side. Other side, you got image of Mikey looking super cool and super posed. Ready to fight. And over here on the back of the packaging, got the same thing we got all the time. Michelangelo information. You can pause and read that if you'd like. You got images of the quarter scale Mikey right there. Pictures right here of the Ninja Turtles in their classic VHS format. So yeah, you've seen this already. This is not what you came to see. This is what you came to see. So let's open him up. See how cool he is. And just like we did with the other turtles, here is Mikey out of the box, but not yet out of the packaging. Still in the packaging shot, you can see a picture of the pizza right there, the two nunchucks that it comes with, an extra pair of bandanas, uh, the back part, and two extra pair of hands, thumbs up hands too. So yeah, that's the accessories you can see comes with. Now let's officially take them out of the packaging. All right, so here we have finally Michelangelo opened up and out of his packaging. He's free at last. And one thing you guys should know in case any other reviewer hasn't mentioned it yet or you've only seen it in a couple of still images. Where do you put his nunchucks? Well, if you slip on this little slide here, this little extra side here um, of the holster, you can just wiggle it in here and move it onto the sides and the nunchucks actually fit perfectly on the back part of the strap of his holster. So there you go. Thanks. Mikey says thanks too. Thumbs up. By the way, this is one of the extra hand accessories that it comes with. It's a little bit softer plastic than the other ones because you can see it's really squishing. And you can kind of like squeeze it and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, he comes with a thumbs up hand. So good job, Mikey. You did it. We figured it out. Yeah. So now let's look at look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this Michelangelo figure. Articulation is basically the same as the other turtles. The head can look up this much and they can look on this much and it can go around 360 of course the arms can go in and out forward and back he's got articulation in the little torso right here it kind of moves a little bit I don't want to play with it too much over here he's got double jointed on the elbows double jointed on the knees uh, you can see right here he's got nice uh, little paint chipped off here I mean uh, I don't know if you can see that little paint smeared off right here on the legs Focus on that. It's not that bad though. And you got articulation here in the feet. Ankle pivot, I believe. Maybe. Not too sure about that. But yeah, just in case. Don't want to play with it too much. And then, of course, the hands can rotate around 360 as well. And you can put the nunchucks in there fairly nicely. He does come with extra accessories, like I said, with the other turtles. He comes with extra bandana piece right here. You can switch it from left to right or right to left, whatever is your preference. He comes with an extra slice of pizza, so you can see right there, highly articulated, highly detailed pizza slice. Oh, you're not focusing on a pizza, are you? Do you want to focus on the pizza? Or do you try to? Do you not want to focus on the pizza? There you go. Nice slice of pizza, as articulated and as detailed as the other ones. You can see right there, it looks really nice, really juicy and delicious. But don't eat it; it's not, it's not real. Uh, then of course he has the other accessories which is the extra hand pieces in case you want to give them the good old thumbs up like good job Mikey you did it you're an action figure now and it's very detailed he's got the open eyes kind of gaze like oh surprise Mikey you know he's always a little jokester of the bunch and if you want to take out the let's see let's take a look at the nunchucks now just gonna take them out of the holster here put him here on the sides you want to be careful with these nunchucks because I've seen other people's reviews where they have broken their nunchucks, the little uh, string that comes with the nunchucks, they've broken them off. Now on mine, uh, they're a little bit harder on this side right here, uh, and a little bit more soft goods in the in the middle section of the nunchucks. They're very stern, uh, very sturdy, you know, very strong. But you don't want to mess with them too much. Now for this one, it's a little bit more stiff on this section right here, and more soft uh, on this section right here. 
but again it doesn't really matter because it does fit nicely in the hand and again just like with the other turtles you have to just wiggle it in there hope it doesn't break though you gotta open the palm a little bit and slide that in right there I'm sorry I'm not putting it on the camera there we go slide it in right there and you can see the nunchuck fits perfectly nice into his hands you can move it around you can pose it however you want you can have it you know do crazy poses you can have them holding both nunchucks well I have to switch the hands but yeah you know what I mean thumbs up let me just take the thumbs out up again with these I like to wiggle it around 360 sometimes kinda like a corkscrew in order to take it out properly otherwise you will break the figure and I don't see it's coming out now hold on give it a little bit more of a wiggle some wiggle room is needed because these pegs are extra long there we go see so take it out didn't break it again now let's put this one in there instead of it being a straight shot I like to just wiggle it in so I don't break the figure you see what I mean so now you have that hand in there and again you can put the nunchucks making it so that he holds both of them at the same time or if you'd like just you know do your own wacky crazy poses because Mikey is awesome so let's do a little comparison now between this one and the Walmart exclusive Mikey alright so here we have the NECA toys Michelangelo and the Walmart exclusive Michelangelo and again you can see the NECA toys version is much more detailed and while both of them do have that open eye look, this one has a bit of a paint smudge on the left eye. Um, and if you can tell, the nunchuck is made out of uh, metal. Sorry, my hand was in the way. It's made out of chain metal, which um, I don't think that's accurate for the movie. The movie, he did have little strings. If you want to look at um, set images of the movie images right there. And uh, it's definitely more detailed, of course, as you can see, because he has more of the spots as the turtles do you know and he's got the nails colored in and stuff this one doesn't have the nails colored in at all and they gave him articulation in the hands which I do like that the fingers have individual articulation but then again when they're trying to hold their accessories it's difficult because when they tend to get loose then the accessories do not hold still and for Mikey they did give him like a little holster on the back like they gave him like a little, little holster on the back so you can't put the nunchucks in the back you know but that just that looks weird like I think it's better the way I showed it to you if you just put the nunchucks inside the little holster here inside and just wiggle it into the back side of the shell I think that looks way better uh, much more detailed I think much more accurate to the movie but yeah we definitely want to get your hands on this Michelangelo from NECA Toys much better than the original Walmart exclusive ones. These are great for kids, but again, these are much more detailed and catered for uh, collectors like me. So yeah, definitely pick yours up right now. They are going for pre-orders on the GameStop website. And NECA, NECA Toys has said that they will be restocking more GameStops um, in the next couple weeks. So if you don't see them uh, for pre-order online, then you can definitely pick them up in stores in a couple of weeks. Or maybe in a couple of days, I don't know, depending on when this review goes up. But they should be in stock and in the shelves, and they should be super stocked, so don't even go to scalpers and buy from them or anything like that, because there will be plenty to go around, you will all have your chance to get these Nicka Turtles, I assure you, I thought I wouldn't be one of them since I missed it on San Diego Comic Con, but lo and behold, I have the four turtles now in awesome details. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, give it a good old thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe if you already haven't subscribed there will be more videos coming soon throughout the year and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time